Okay, it is now 72 hours after I took my first COVID shot. So I probably won't be recording after tomorrow. I'm doing four days, maybe five. And the reason why I'm thinking five is because when I read about that girl who said after four days, she has some symptoms. So what I notice is, and whenever I have to go somewhere and I have to prolong wear my mask, uh, I just don't feel good. And so I helped my dad with an appointment, but I went inside with him, which I normally don't. And I had to wear the mask the whole time. Uh, it just does something to me. I had to go somewhere else afterwards. So that means I had to keep it on. Uh, it just don't do me right. It's something about breathing that air back into your lungs is not good. So, uh, I hate that. So I'm kind of getting over that, but that's what happens to me all the time when I have to prolong, um, use my mask when I'm at work because I have an office, I can take mine off in my office as long as I have my door closed. But as soon as someone steps in, I have to put it back on. If I get in the hallway, I got to put it on. You know, of course, going into the classroom, anywhere. But I have a long periods where I can have my mask off during the day. I don't have to have my um, mask on all the time. I'm just looking at my hair. I don't know if it's the light, but it looks like it's getting grayer and grayer and grayer. And I've decided to stay gray. Um, it don't do me no good to dye my hair. Because when I dye my hair, as you can see up in here, see that orange thing? Like it was honey blonde, the rest of the braids, but because it was gray, it was some kind of orange. So when you dye your hair, it'll still come brighter than the rest of your hair. And so it's like a telltale thing, like, hey, that, that looks gray. And so I'm never going to, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let my hair do what it do. Because if, even if you could cover it within, I'll say a week or two, the gray shows up again. It's a losing battle. So... I surrender. So anyway, let's go back to COVID. So this is 32, hour 32. No muscle soreness, no nothing. I'm doing real good. I'm, I mean, I'm stuffy because as y'all know, when y'all look at my videos, I'm always rubbing my nose. I'm really, I'm always drawing and uh, sniffling because I just have problems with my sinuses. Like my nose, I use Flonase, but I haven't used it in a while. So I need to go get my Flonase because somehow like my nose collapsed or something. And so a long time ago, the doctor diagnosed Flonase for me, and that kind of takes care of it temporarily. And um, yeah, I need to go get me some Flonase. But other than that, I'm fine. I'm really fine. So I spoke to one of my Soros. She's like 80-something years old. She's retired. She's a retired nurse. And uh, she was like, I took my... I took the second shot two weeks ago and I'm fine. And so what, what happens is people will take the, the people who take the shot and have um, reaction to it. It seems like they'll take that tiny percent and just really just blow it up. Like everybody's having those symptoms when the majority of the people don't have any of these symptoms. So I'm really sick and tired of social media really at this point. I'm so um, sick and tired of the news because they just want to blow everything up more than what it is. It's just getting on my last nerve. And then we get paranoid and we think that's just, you know, we don't know what to do. We're so confused. And nobody wants to purposely walk into something where they're going to suffer a little bit. But I had to take my chances. And so hopefully uh, round two will be just as smooth and I will do up to four days on round two and uh, see how that goes. But I just kind of want to inform people truthfully. I'm not saying nobody's lying. Please forgive me. I, I say things and it's, like, it's not blaming people and saying people lying about stuff. I'm just saying I want somebody, I want to just share my experience. That's all. And so far, so good. Had a good day. Um, spent the time taking my dad back to his, back in, forward to his appointment. So it was a really, really good day. Got to sit down a little bit, just a little bit with mama. But I did get to sit down with mom. And uh, tomorrow I'll do that one day of work for the week. And uh, yeah, chill, chill, chill. So I hope you all are having, oh, 
I don't know what to call this winter. Uh, some of y'all, if y'all down south in Florida, you it's all good. But for a lot of us, it is a lot of snow, a lot of ice, a lot of um, just chill. And um, for those people in Oklahoma and Texas, you know, I pray for you. I know that's just awful having to have your heat turned off in the worst winter ever in a while. And um, somebody explained that they had to, um, if they didn't roll out, like turn some heat off and turn back on, or even if they just let the system pull, that everything would go out and it would take much longer for everybody to get their heat back on. So they have to make a rolling thing so that they didn't overwork the system. Yikes. I just, well, I just the thought of that just makes my heart hurt. Uh, it makes me want, I, you know what? I never thought about it. I need to go buy some more blankets. Because sometimes my heater has a fight with the elements and the elements win. And so it don't matter how high I put my heater, it won't get that high. And so the only reason why I haven't been feeling cold is because I wear sweats to bed now and I wear socks to bed and I think an extra blanket on top of the nine blankets I already have will do it. I think I'm under how many layers? One, two, three, four layers. I have four layers and a fifth won't hurt. And uh, yeah, I might have to do that just because. But I'm praying for you all in Texas and Oklahoma and all those places where y'all are really having some bad, bad issues. Man, my heart's starting to hurt for y'all. Um we as a nation, we pray for you because we don't never want it to be us next. And even those states that are not getting the um, temperatures, I mean, I wouldn't count out that one day something weird don't happen that way either. So let's just be mindful. Let's put ourselves in their places and let's be prayerful at the same time. You guys, stay warm, stay faithful, be blessed, have a good one. Bye.